Yeah, honey, that was, this is go out to the walls of Jericho. We can walk that trail and be sore for a couple of days. Or we can go up the dang trail like this and be sore for probably like six, six years. In like six years. Mayor Bear, are you ready to do an epically tattoo? Insanely awesome, overly excited for no reason YouTube intro? Yes! What's up, guys? It's Nate with Dan the Trees. And Mary. And welcome to a YouTube video. We're so excited. Yay. All right, all right, we're done with that. Let's go. So we're headed down uh, the Forever Wild track uh, in the Alabama-Tennessee state line. Uh, it is the Walls of Jericho. We were here last weekend. Two weekends uh, ago. Or two weekends. Okay, we were here two weekends ago. Excuse me. We were here two weekends ago uh, filming um, the search for the Bush Pig treasure starring the Bush Pigs. So there's the Bush Pig. If you are new to our channel, there is the Bush Pig, Sweet Pea. And there's the Limb Pig, uh, Emma. So, uh, our little puppies for all our adventures. Um, this is an extremely intense hike. It is six miles round trip down to the amphitheater of the Walls of Jericho. Most people would believe six miles round trip, three miles one way, three miles back. It's not that bad, except for it's a thousand mile elevation change. Thousand Go, feet. Or, excuse me, thousand miles. <clears throat> <laughs> so it is a thousand feet elevation change. So Mary is wearing her Osprey Daylight 11 liter day pack in the red color. I'm wearing uh, Daylight in black. Maybe you can see that. I uh, don't know. Maybe you're just seeing my butt. This is a little water runoff shortcut that a lot of people use. First time we came down here we thought it was the trail so we took it. Now going down it's a little bit rough with a heavy pack. Going up, it's a whole lot rough with a heavy pack. But with the Osprey Daylights, it's going to be smooth sailing. Hey, Nate, Mary Bear. Come on, Lim Lim. We are now entering Copperhead Land. Seriously, there's a ton of Copperheads down here. Seriously. So, you come down to the Walls of Jericho on the Alabama-Tennessee line, make sure to be very careful and watch that you don't step on any snakes. Did some swimming. Now it's time to collect some sticks. Filter some water and cook some lunch. How's that sound? Nom 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 Ooh, nom. Ooh, somebody just piled a crap load of sticks for us, honey. Right there. So, collect sticks. Check. Already done. Somebody did it for us. They knew we were coming. Now we gotta collect some water. And uh, it's gonna be hard kind of collecting water because there's only tons of water so I'm gonna do the hard job I'm gonna I'm gonna search for water while um Mary Bear collect sticks collect sticks there's our stick Mary Mary's done Mary, Mary, Mary Mary's done anyone says yep we're done all right Bert go get us some agua <coughs> <coughs> oh choking on water and today on Swamp Pig in the Wild. <coughs> Bush Pig and Limp Pig attempt to make a bed. And I'm like, I'm going to get it. I'm a Bush Pig. I'm a Bush Pig. Bush Pig. Did you make yourself a bed? She said, well, it's a pre-existing bed. I just fluffed it up. And today we will be having a little nummy. It's so gray. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Mm, nice. 
Yeah. It's like I'm dressing the teeth, but oh, I'm gonna take the clothes off. Oh, yeah. Look, look who's got their bags hanging out. Oh, my God. Oh, then we put you in the jacuzzi. Oh, yeah. Happy teeth. Well, lunch is over. Got some uh, dummy aged Earl Grey tea in the jug you see me drinking out of all the time. Mayor Bear does too. So. We're headed back. Got everything packed up. Uh, took care of a damaged pad on Emma's foot. Come on. Oh. Go. Go on. Yay, the piggies made it. Why not? It's not real rocky, is it? So, Emma tore one of her pads of her foot. Huh? Tore all four. Well, yeah, she tore the pads of her feet down there on the rocks. So, during rough terrain, I'm carrying her because it's hurting her. We'll get her taken care of when we get to the car. And then doctor her up when we get to the house. And we're resting next week. We're just going to do a little recon. Not much hiking, so her little paws can heal. She's just uh, she's she's shedding the uh, her the skin of her paws. It's not really actually tore them up. They're just um, peeling off. So no blood, no no nothing serious, but it's uncomfortable for her walking over this terrain. So her daddy is carrying her, ain't that right, Limpick? So. When we come to chert or heavy gravel or we just got to jump from rock to rock and it's going to hurt her feet, I carry her. But when we're on soft dirt, pine needles, I let her walk because carrying her this many miles up a mount, steep mountain, not really fun. <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do for your puppies. No, this is not the uh, the official trail. This is a trail people have worn down. It just basically goes straight up and down the mountain. This is not the trail you would be taking if you came out here. Well, I mean, you could take it, but it's it's a little bit rough. See, that trail down there that goes switchbacking, back and forth, back and forth, or you can just go straight up. When I say straight up, I mean straight up. It's, it's steep. Oh. Yeah, honey, that was, let's just go out to the walls of Jericho. We can walk that trail and be sore for a couple of days. Or we can go up the dang trail like this and be sore for probably like six, six years. In like six years. It's going to be fun. Like, come on, honey. And of course, she's like, yeah, that sounds good. Because that's my mare bear. <sighs> then we broke the little dog. Poor ginger pig. Then pig, you okay? Look at it. No, she just kind of looks perturbed that she can't see where she's going. But then she looks and sees me, she's good.
hope you don't get overheated. We're cooling her off with a chill it under her. It's pretty cool. And daddy's carrying her. She said Bert's good for something. She got a bath, got her cooled down. She didn't even fight for it. She normally fights when you're trying to do stuff like that with her and wiggles her way out, but she just laid right there. That's how bad she was doing. But we knew we had to get her to some water. And the only way to get there was to walk. Huh, baby. She was way too hot to walk, so he picked her up and got her up to the water and cooled her off. He's gonna let her continue cooling down for a little bit more. Then we'll get her in the air in the car.